presented by Church Tech U, it's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, more details about the ProPresenter subscription model. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I, of course, teach you all about ProPresenter. My name's Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, uh, why don't you share this with someone else who may be confused about the details of what Renewed Vision has rolled out with reference to subscriptions, etc. So the last one of these that I uploaded, I talked a little bit about this along with some of the new features, and I meant to talk more about those new features this time, but I wanted to be absolutely clear what I understand the details of this new way of doing things to be so that there was less uh, fear, uncertainty, and doubt out there. So let me just go through some of the stuff and hopefully this will clear it all up. So um, first off, you should know that there is going to be a difference between whether you have uh, if you've bought ProPresenter in the last year or if you have ProPresenter Plus. Here, let me put my key in. There we go. If you have ProPresenter Plus or you bought ProPresenter 7 in the last year, so therefore the year of ProPresenter Plus that came with it is still active. If that is you, you're going to have a different situation than if you are in a situation where you let ProPresenter Plus, Plus lapse or you haven't uh, bought it at all. So that's the first thing. So pay attention to which situation you're in, and then we'll talk about that. So first off, pricing. If you have one or two, two seats, and your ProPresenter Plus is still active, it will be $189 per year per seat. There's no monthly option. If you want to continue to get the $189 price, it's just $189 per seat per year if you have currently active ProPresenter Plus. That price will remain for at least two years. That's what they said, at least two years. Not up to two years, not just two years, but at least two years. And if there is a price increase, it will be what they call a nominal price increase. Now, I think what they're thinking is just related to inflation and other stuff, that kind of price increase or depending on the market other things that's what they're talking about it will not increase all the way to the regular subscription price so that's an important thing to know next well what if you um, have the campus license well first off the campus license is only available to churches, houses of worship, that kind of thing. So the if your ProPresenter Plus is still active, that is $469 per campus per year for at least two years. And just like the single or two-seat price, because it, if you needed three seats and you were a house of worship, it just didn't make any sense to just buy three when the campus license was uh, would take care of you there. So if that's it, then just like the single or two seats, it's uh, going to stay the same price for at least two years and perhaps a nominal price increase after that that will not equal what the subscription price is at that point. So do keep that in mind. So that's the first thing. Uh, secondly, while I'm here talking about campus licenses, don't 
think of a campus license as a 20 seat license. Think of a campus license as more than three seats. Now, on the upper end, that's 20 seats, but for most churches, that's basically unlimited. What I mean by that is you're not going to be presenting from 20 computers at the same time. So from your perspective, that's unlimited. Don't think, oh, it should be cheaper because I'm only using five. No. Think of it as I'm using as many as I need to use. So probably five, three, etc. Any number like that, think of it that way. In the ProPresenter 6 days, it was unlimited, but there were a few churches, probably if I had to guess, and this is just a guess, there were a few churches that were using, you know, like 100 licenses per campus. That, they wanted to curtail that for a church that had 100 different classrooms or services going on at the exact same time or throughout the week and they didn't want to move things. Anyway, whatever that situation is, they wanted to curtail that for those particular churches and be able to charge them at an appropriate price given their size. So don't think of it as 20. Think of it as unlimited in your situation. So basically, from that perspective, it's the same as it was in the ProPresenter 6 days, 5, etc. So that's an important thing to remember. And that's also the same way for the subscription price. So next thing, what about the perpetual license? Well, what I want you to think about is the perpetual license will be good until your current ProPresenter Plus term ends. What do I mean by that? Let me give you my example. My ProPresenter Plus would have renewed next May. As I'm recording this, it's early August. So up until May, any of those versions I can just sit on forever. Of course, my gig is helping you know about ProPresenter, so I'm not going to do that personally. But if I was a church that was salty about the end of the perpetual license, I could pick one of the ones between now and then. So the current beta is ProPresenter 17. Remember, if you watched the previous lesson, that they removed the 7 from the name and they're just going for the second dot there. So the current one is ProPresenter 17. So if my ProPresenter Plus were to run out, let's say, in September, then my perpetual license would be ProPresenter 17 or, or earlier. If my ProPresenter Plus expires in May, like mine does, then it's probably going to be ProPresenter 18 or 19 that is my perpetual license. Now, I can keep paying my discounted rate and then use the version that once I quit paying the watermark returns, or I can just quit paying at that point and that's the one that I'll have and I can continue to use that as long as I've got a computer that will run it. So that's an important thing. So while the price is not changing over the next two years, they are only honoring the perpetual license that you have already purchased when you purchased ProPresenter 7 or you per, or you renewed your ProPresenter Plus. So that's an important thing to know. It's not the case that as long as you keep paying the ProPresenter Plus that you will continue to have uh, the ProPresenter... As long as you 
keep paying the ProPresenter Plus, you'll continue to have uh, the option of having a perpetual license. No, that's not the case. It's for this current Pro Presenter Plus term. That's what's going on there. Okay, so next. Let's say that you haven't bought Pro Presenter yet, or you were on Pro Presenter 6 or older, or you've allowed your Pro Presenter Plus to expire. Any of those situations. If that's you, then the pricing for you is $29 a month or $289 a year per seat for the first seat. I guess technically you could get a second seat, but the savings is, it's like a dollar a month. Um, or I'm just having trouble doing the math. So it really doesn't make a lot of sense to do it that way, but it is theoretically possible. You could have two seats. Personally, I would go with the campus license. Remember, just for houses of worship, I'll link churches, synagogues, um, if there's a chapel service, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so that's what that's for. And if it's the situation that um, you go with the campus license, it's $59 a month, which is just a dollar more than two licenses. So, you know, if you every 28 months need to use the third one, you're ahead. So that just remember that, uh, or $649 a year. So that's important for you to know as well. Finally, ProPresenter is only available via subscription once your ProPresenter Plus term that you're currently in ends. So it should be no later than the end of July 2025. So if you're watching this after the end of July 2025, then it has ended. So, or if you're new to ProPresenter or you haven't upgraded since ProPresenter 6 or older, it's available only via subscription. So do not think oh, I will just pay my $29 for one month and then I've got a perpetual license for ProPresenter. No, that's not the way that it works. ProPresenter is much higher in software than $29 once. In a perfect world where a new house was 500 bucks and a new car was 50 maybe, but uh, as it turns out, that we don't live in that world. So... That's important for you to know that ProPresenter Plus is only available via subscription once your ProPresenter Plus term ends. It's also important to know that when you move from the ProPresenter, when you set up your account to be a subscription, you don't lose the remaining time of your ProPresenter Plus. So... I've already moved mine over to a subscription, and it will not charge me until May when my ProPresenter Plus term ends. It's not going to charge me next month. It's not going to charge me uh, six months from now. No, May of 2025 is when mine will be charged, and it will be charged just like it's the ProPresenter Plus price, and that's all there is to that. So, keep that in mind. So, I hope that that's cleared some stuff up. If it hasn't, by all means, reach out to me. Um, there are probably some little details that Renewed Vision hasn't addressed yet, but I do, I'll try and clear up everything as I understand it. Please don't be mad. Please don't uh, launch into them. 
the reality of software in 2024 and newer is that for high-end software, it's going to be a subscription. I was looking at other worship software. All the known worship softwares are a subscription. So you really don't have a, a lot of options, especially, definitely, if you want something as powerful as ProPresenter, you don't have a lot of options. I'm sorry about that. It's not my call. I don't work for them. I'm just a guy that helps people understand ProPresenter and um, answers tech questions and such. So with that said, if you want to learn more about ProPresenter, head on over to get my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. And you can do that by going to tdm.fyi slash proquick. And give me your name and email address and I will make a login for you for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.